Hello guys, welcome back. Now since we done our little peek at our Celadonias and we saw we had all them babies underneath the um, the trap door there, we've had an awful lot of questions about how we're going to get them out. So I thought what we'd do is we would have a little video of us trying to remove these baby Celadonias and we're going to see how it goes because we've not done this before so uh, this is all going to be a little bit new and we will see what happens. Now we've got our, our Mantis Den enclosure here which luckily they come in like a, a kit form which means we can take it apart again which is really really cool because what we're gonna have to do, mum is obviously in with the babies. We are gonna have to try and get them out. Now, we don't want to um, destroy the actual um, trap door because it'd be nice if she can go back in there. So what I'm hoping is, is we can get this out. Like I say, we've not done this before, so uh, this is all pretty new. Um, so far, so good. There we go. That's the that's the lid off. Now the good thing is, because this is um, this is literally just a a dwarf trap door. We've got no worries about it tearing off as such. So what we're going to do now is, you'll remember that this is where she's living, in here. This is the, the trap, you see how well camouflaged it is, absolutely fantastic. So what we're going to do is, we're going to lay the enclosure now on its back. We're going to just put something under there so it's not totally flat, because you'll see here that this is all dry, so we don't want it falling out and uh, covering our thing so all right so what we're going to do now is we are going to lift the trap door up because we don't know how many babies we've got um, oh there they are look at uh, oh they are so beautiful must get a photograph there I think very good photo opportunity. Right, okay. I think what I'm going to have to do is I need a pin. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to pin the, the door back. So we're going to pull that back as far as we can. And just pin that back there like so. As you can see, these are already little slings. And this is one of the beauties of letting them hatch with mum. Is they are absolutely perfect. Right, if you just hold fire there for one second. Definitely gonna get one photograph. Lovely. So what we're gonna do is we are we've got our sling pots, so these are just normal sling pots, and all we're looking at at the moment is just getting these little guys one one in a in a sling pot. Which might be easier said than done. Okay. This is going to be fun. We've 
Wow. Two. This might be the way we just get them on the move. You can see the female there, she's lifting her, her back leg, she's looking for the trapdoor. There's another one. Oh, we're getting the hang of this now, look at this. So what we've done was we got 20 pots ready. So maybe we're being a bit optimistic, we don't know. Oh, look at that one. Was he giving a little threat display then? Cheeky little thing. Oh my gorgeous. Such pretty little things. See there, we're just going to tease them out. Oh, there he goes. It's a lively one. Doing well. I can't actually see where they are. They're at the back, are they? Oh, yeah, look. Well, we have got a catch cup ready for mum just in case. You see how they don't want to leave the sanctuary of the, the nest. I think we might have to ask her to leave. So we just gently tickle her out. See, they're very, very delicate. Let's see if we can't open this up a little more. There's loads in there. Yeah. Okay. We didn't realise just how deep that was. Oh, you cheeky little so and so. He went underneath. Leave him be to me.
Some of them are very de determined on where they want to go. Have we got an estimate here? Mm -mm. Oh, you're going the wrong way, little fella. That's it. You see, it's good to introduce them to the paintbrush at an early age. <laughs> wow, I went straight in. Gotcha. You can't hide forever. Right. How many more we got? We have a runaway. Oh, get back. Oh. No. Here we go. Is there many more? Wow. <laughs> That's 20. Is there many more in there? I can't see because it's a very dark hole. Here's another five. How deep that actually is. Oh my god, there's loads. Oh. Got a bit of a breakout now. Oh, you terror. Mm. 
Oh, that's another five. Did he go in the undergrowth? Yeah. One's gone down in there. Another five. The good thing is, even if we do lose one in here, we can pick it up at a later date. It won't be a problem. Is there any more in there? Yes. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, that was a cheeky one. He went straight in there. There's more. We've got two loose that we know of. Tell me, is it more? I don't know, it's dark. Yep, yeah, I can see one, two. One under her. Oh, it's oh. Gone back in. It's gone back in. Well. I wasn't expecting so many. Did one come out? Go on, there's another one. There's another one in there as well. Oh, oh, cool, Benny. Oh, all breaking out at once. Never look at that little. No, you've gone straight back in the same hole just come out of. Tickle, tickle, come on. I think we might have to leave him in there for a minute. I didn't see where he went. There, there he is. You're going too quick for me. There he is. He's safe. 
we have him. Wow. Oh, would you believe there is still more? Right up in there. There he is. There is one under mum still, isn't there? There he is. <laughs> In the actual nest. Oh, there's a couple. Mm Oh! Oh my god, where are you all coming from? Could be a pop stove, there's one, two, three on their way out. Oh, that one's gone back behind. This is taking the mic. In where? These holes where you were going earlier. Yep, yeah, there's one. Oh, can't focus this way. There's another one in there. Here he comes. Oh, oh, oh. Yay. Okay. Yeah. We got him. Still got one in there. Is there any more in there? Mm, I can't see. I think we might. No, there's another one. Is there? Mm -hmm. We've got one there. Here he comes. Oh, 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 oh. Got him. Yeah. We've got one in the back. There's more in there, can you believe this? Let's get the focus sorted.
No, it's going straight back in. I think that might be it. We still did we, we got that one out of there, didn't we? We got one in the back. Mm -hmm. So if I lift this up, can you see it in there? No, it's dark, so you need to mm. get some light. Oh, look at this one. Look at that cheeky little soul there. Not focusing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can't get this little one out. That's it. Keep coming, little fella. Hey, <laughs> we got him. All right, and then we had one. There he is. There. Can you see that one hiding there? Just on the edge. There he is. Alright, let's see if we can't tease him out. No, no, you're not supposed to go deeper, it's supposed to come out. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, I'll have to lay this down again. Oh! <laughs> I think that is all of them. We shall keep an eye. Um, isn't it so difficult to see. Ah. There's more. <laughs> Can you believe it? Can I see in the mirror? You might be able to. Can you see? We can see the reflection, but we can't see what you're looking at. It's literally right up in the top. Oh, right, okay. Got so it's literally right up here. There he is, his feet. Did he go underneath Mum? It's a bit too hard for us to see because um, I've got a shadow. I think he went under Mum. Are you hiding him? No? Okay, where is he? There he is. A little stowaway. Right. I think that is it. So what we're going to do now is we are going to close the door. As you can see, she's been very well behaved. You'll see her back leg come up in a moment. She'll want to try and close there. See that back leg come up? She's looking to hook the door down 
There she goes. Yeah. Now she'll make that all nice and cosy again. Right. Well, that was pretty epic. So we're going to quickly put this back together again now. Um, and then we'll have a little count up and see what we got. Tell you what, I'm going to sort that out in a minute. Um, let's have a count up, see what we're going to do. So, in that clutch, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. A bit more than the 20 you anticipated. Yes, I only thought there was going to be a couple. Um, now, there's been a huge amount of interest in these, and um, we've been taking orders, and I had to stop because I was worried about disappointing people because I didn't think we'd have enough. But it would appear we have more than enough. So then... We've got 51 there. Um, I think we've had everything out of the enclosure. Now, what I'd like to do now, a lot of you guys have been asking, what do we do with them? Because these Celadonias have a really, really poor reputation for being difficult when they're slings. And as we've seen here, they are tiny, tiny little slings. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how I keep mine. And this works for us this is how we've done ours so what we got we we are going to keep them in the sling pot so if you buy one of these it comes with a ready-made home all you've got to do is add a little bit of stuff inside so what we do if you have a look at this we've got a small piece of bark this is cork bark just a regular regular piece of um, cork bark and all I do is I get my drill and with a four mil bit I literally just drill a hole in it like so and I'll maybe put another one here and this is just really to give it choice you see so there's two little holes there um, if you want you can always put one around the side and that is it that's all we do so you're literally just giving them these tiny tiny little holes now in terms of substrate I use a little piece of uh, leaf mulch now this is bone dry really really dry you see this really dry there is no moisture in that at all that is bone dry but what you will see is you notice here this is all tiny little flecks of leaf dried leaf bits and pieces there's little bits of soil tiny little bits of branch look there's all sorts of rubbish in this and this is just collected leaf mulch now the idea is with this these are so small but they will use these tiny, tiny little pieces like this. They will use them in conjunction with their webbing 
to make their trapdoor. So you've already got your stuff. Now one of the things that's um, often been said in the past with these guys is you must have litching that you find on your bits of cork bark. Sometimes it comes with the lichen and that already dried on it. It's not necessary to have that. Any kind of material will do. This leaf litter is perfect. We've also got where we've drilled our cork, we've got our tiny bits of cork as well. So what we do is we pop this in here, real simple, just like that. And then we can pick up our little bits of cork bark and we can sprinkle them in there as well. This is all usable material for their trapdoor. And that is it. That's the home there. Now, what we can do now is we can also add, this is sphagnum moss. Now, we just take a little bit out like that. This is all we need. Yeah? So all we're doing is just going to have a little look. You see? We've got this stuff here. Now sphagnum moss is very, very soft and when it dries, this is damp at the moment, but when it dries, which it will do very quickly, it becomes almost like, um, it goes almost crispy. So what we can do is we can literally just get the few little bits. You see like the scrapings? This is all we want. And we put that in there like so. Throw that in there as well. And this is all going to help this little guy make his home. And we can put a little bit on the top. Let's see, got there. Okay. So then, what we do then? This is it. This is this is the finished article. This this is our home for our tea Celadonia. Now we have got our Celadonia here. And as you can see, he's only a tiny, tiny little guy. Very, very small. So what we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to get him to come out. He says, "You've only just asked me to go in here." Here we go. Be nice and gentle with him. There you go. He's in. So then, we make sure we've got some air holes in the lids, yeah, and then that is him done, and that is in, in his new home, see that? It's not focusing the best, but we can't Excuse get you're too the close. Idea. So that is all we need to do. And that is your tea Celadonia all set up and ready to go. It's as simple as that. When it comes to watering, I use one of these because you can control this. You don't want to be spraying these. We can control this. So when we come to, <coughs> to watering, all I would do is if you see here, well, just literally, we can squirt just a tab. There'll be a bit, you can have a bit of moss on there. And we literally, that is it. We just want a little water like that. And that is enough. Do not get these guys wet. You know, if you, if you make this wet, you will almost certainly kill it. So keep it nice and dry. You'll notice in the, um, in the adults enclosure, it's actually bone dry. Yeah, all we do is we just add a little bit of water when we need it. Right. But well, that was rather an epic little um, chase around. I hope you enjoyed it. We had far more than I actually anticipated. I never thought we'd have that many. I didn't really know what to expect. But yes, that is a massive, massive clutch. 51 babies, absolutely incredible. Right, well I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, don't forget, be calm, be gentle, and love your spiders. I'll see you soon guys.